SUU wins their conference tournament in my video game. We get revenge. Has run roughshod all over the opposition in this conference tournament, Dick. What a way to end the season, Brad. What an uptick. This team has proven time and time again that they are legit. No doubt now that NCAA been awaits after tonight's impressive conference championship victory. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. stars are players of the game. I tell you, being recognized as the player of the game is a great accomplishment for this young guy. However, getting the W is much better. Let's look at the stats for the game. So Spurgeon had four points, seven rebounds, an assist, and two blocks. Spurge. Fawcett, Fawcett had six points, four rebounds. Butler had seven points, seven rebounds, three assists, a block. Jones had 29, four, one. Drake Allen had 19, 2, 2. Uh, Cameron Healy had 5, 1, and 3 assists off the bench. Fala off the bench had 2, 2, and 3 off the bench. And D. Barnes off the bench had 10, 2, and 2. Not bad. Bill Raftery, uh, let's not waste any time and get right to it. Bill, the selections are coming in, but before we get to them, which teams are still riding the fence right now? Uh, Gus, not every team can get into the tournament, much to their chagrin. Uh, these teams here are the teams most people feel are on the bubble. All of these schools certainly had great season, and the committee will have to make some very tough decisions. Just think how special it would be, Gus, if all four teams made it to the final four. Now, let's show you the four regional brackets, starting with the West region. Hey, the SUU, the there we are. We're a 14 seed going up against Purdue. Let's upset them again. It's not easy. Let's have Purdue get upset again. Here we are. Let's go, T-Birds. 26 and 6. Gus, this is a really tough bracket. The team who makes it out of this bracket may not have enough fuel in the tank to compete in the final four. Let's now turn to the second half of the field of 64, starting with the 16 teams in the East region. I've been fortunate, Gus, to have seen a lot of these teams play this season, and I don't think too many of these games will be blowouts. Only 16 teams left, and here they are, the South Region. A lot of good teams here, Gus. The greatest three weeks in sports, March Madness. The parity amongst the schools gets greater and greater each and every year. Well, Coach Raftery, there's a look at the tournament bid by conference. Uh, the major conferences are obviously well represented. However, there are still some mid-major schools worth watching, and I'm certain they'll compete. Well, Mr. Raftery, the speculation is over and the feud of 64 is set. How about summing things up for us? Uh, there are a couple of teams that are missing in action. I think that some of these schools should have received an NCAA bid. However, let's focus on the teams that are playing. We've got some sleepers, those who will win one game and be eliminated. And of course, the bracket, which I feel is the toughest and the team to beat. This season's tournament seating is official. That about does it for CBS coverage of the NCAA Tournament Selection Show. I hope you enjoyed the show for the Governor Bill Raftery. I'm Gus Johnson saying so long. All right, let's bring on Purdue. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Tournament. Today's game is between the Southern Utah Thunderbirds and the Purdue Boilermakers. Ladies and gentlemen, the bracket. And there is the starting line.
lineup for each team. Thus, we should really pay attention to the matchup in the middle. These two centers are really skilled and demand your attention on the court. We expect a big game from both of them. And while we have a moment, let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams today. Let's go, Birds! All right, guys, it's halftime, and we are up 14 on three-seed Purdue. They could not stop Tavian Jones and Drake Allen in the first half. There we go, you guys. Southern Utah wins, upsets Purdue, 76-57. They could not stop us all game. Moving on to the round of 32, baby. T-Birds, go Birds. Well, well, sometimes statistics lie, but in NCAA tournament basketball, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, when you take a close look at Purdue gets straight, upset again. Execution. We say it all the time, but these guys did a terrific job of getting stops at the defensive end and scores at the offensive end. That's our coverage of NCAA basketball on CBS Sports. I'm Gus Johnson for Bill Raftery saying good night, and we'll see you next time. Now we played DePaul next, succeed DePaul. I can do it. of the game. Jones again. Let's look at our team stats. Spurgeon had four points, five rebounds, and a block. Fawcett had six points, a rebound, an assist, and a block. Butler went off. He had 15 points, two rebounds, two assists, two blocks. Tavian Jones, 24 points. Four rebounds and assist. Drake Allen, six points, two rebounds, eight assists. Uh, Martel Williams played late, two points. Cameron Healy, four points, two rebounds and assist. Parsifala, four points, two rebounds. Dutt, two points, a rebound. D Barnes, nine points, a rebound off the bench. Lamette, a rebound, two assists. There we go, baby. We are off to the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Tournament. Today's game is between the Southern Utah Thunderbirds and the DePaul Blue Demons. And there is the starting lineup for each team. Wow, guys, the matchup in center position should be really a good one. Sit back. Definitely. Two of the more skilled big men in the game tonight. They will be the difference maker. Let's check out how these teams are going to set the tempo around. Every game you have to put your areas of focus best. You know what's going to help your team win and execute. Hey guys, go birds. Not a good first half, guys. We're down eight to the Paul at half, but we can still come back. Not a good first half for us. Here we see how these two teams are stacking up against each other so far. Here's a look at how both teams are doing with their keys to the game.
Okay, but we can come back. Still birds. All right, you guys. So the Thunderbirds come back from an eight-point halftime deficit and come back and win by 17. Go on to the Sweet 16 now and play Villanova. Let's We've shock said it the world. so many times. Survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, when you take a close look at this victory, it came down to execution. We say it all the time, but these guys did a terrific job of getting stopped. Double double for Drake. And scores at the offensive end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. I'm Gus Johnson saying so long. SUU was down by as many as 14 in this game. It was 32 to 18 one point to Paul. Alright, now we're in the Sweet 16 as a 14 seed, baby. Players of the game, Drake Allen. Spurgeon had 12 and 9 and 2 blocks. Fawcett had 4, 4, 1 and 1. But Butler had 6 and 1. Jones had 21, 2 and 1. Drake had 14, 3 and 10 and a block. Didn't play. Cam Healy off the bench, 5 points, 2 rebounds, an assist. Parsifala, a rebound and an assist. D. Barnes off the bench, 9 points, 3 rebounds, and assist. And yeah, there we go. Go Birds. On to the Sweet 16 against Nova. Sweet 16. Welcome to Sweet 16 coverage of the NCAA Tournament on CBS Sports. Today's game is between the Southern Utah Thunderbirds and the Villanova Wildcats. And our starting lineup. Guys, I'm looking forward to this matchup. And here's what the plan of attack is for either team in regards to tempo. Let's go, birds. Let's go to the Elite Eight. Halftime, guys. We are bringing it to Nova. We shot almost 90% from the field in the first half. Which is incredible. 52-33. It was like 20-19 to earlier. And we went on a big run. 82%. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identify at the outset. All right, let's go birds, let's go to the Elite Eight. Let's go, we beat Nova. We're going to the Elite Eight as a 14 in SMU. Team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted it on the free throw line. They did all of the little intangibles we consistently talk about. And that was the difference in this game. Rap, we had a couple of great performances out there today, and here are our players of the game. These kids were awesome out there. As a coach, these are the type of performances you want to get. What a run it's been. we halfway there to a time. On CBS Sports. For the governor, Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson saying good night.
right, let's look at the players of the game. Drake Allen. Spurge had two points, eight rebounds, and a block. Fawcett had 14, 7, 2. Butler had 5, 2, 2, and 1. Jones had 17, 2, 3, and 1. Allen had 21 and 5. Healy had 8 and 2. Fala had 3 rebounds and an assist. Dett had a rebound. Anderson had 2 points. Barnes had 2, 1 and 1. And yeah, that's it. Scobird is going to the Elite 8, baby. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the Elite Eight. Today's game is between the Southern Utah Thunderbirds and the Kentucky Wildcats. Down to the Elite Eight. A couple of victories later, and this is how the tournament is shaping up. And there is the starting lineup for each team. Fans are going to see a great matchup today. Those two at the center spot, they're capable of putting up some good numbers and taking this game over. Let's check out how these teams are going to Okay, guys, we're up eight at halftime, 22 14. Let's shock the world and go to the final four, T Birds. Go Birds. We pull off the upset and go on to the final four. Let's go. Well, Bill, sometimes statistics lie, but in NCAA tournament basketball, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, when you take a close look at this victory, it came down to execution. We say it all the time, but these guys did a terrific job of getting stops at the defensive end and scores at the offensive end. All right, that's a wrap for my partner, Bill Raftery. I'm Gus Johnson saying good night. We play Texas next in the final four. Birds. Spurgeon had four points, three rebounds. Fawcett had two and six rebounds. Butler only had one point and one rebound. Jones had 17 points. Allen had eight points and an assist. Healy had four points, four assists. Fala had two points, three rebounds. D. Barnes had six points and two assists. Remember, I, I changed the game so it could be done faster. I put five minute halves. That's why there's not as much scoring now. But yeah, Sco Birds, final four. Final four bound. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the final four. How about that? Today's game is between the Southern Utah Thunderbirds and the Texas Longhorns. The final four, ladies and gentlemen, you can feel the buzz. There's a look at the starting lineup. The matchup at the guard position is really intriguing. Two skilled players who used to get the job done for the respective team. The 
that we get going here today, these will be the keys that each team will be paying special attention to all day long. Let's go Birds, get to the title game. All tied up at 18 and a half. This one's been a little tougher. What happens in the books? Stay tuned for the run to the final four. <sighs> but we got this. And let's take a moment to look at some team stats for both sides here. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identified at the outset. Yep, Scobirds. We're going to the championship, T-Birds. Jones can't believe it. Coach, I think we saw a pretty good tournament game. Both teams competed hard. But that's the end of the season for one of these teams. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they confirmed it on the free throw line. They did all of the little intangibles we consistently talk about. And that was the difference in this game. All right, so that's all for now. For the governor, Bill Raftery, and our entire CBS Sports crew, I'm Gus Johnson saying so long. Well, we're playing Duke in the title. our closest game so far. Look at the player stats. Spurge had two points, a rebound. Fawcett had six points, five rebounds. Butler had four points, a rebound. Jones had 12 points on an off shooting game. 12 points, a rebound. Drake Allen had two rebounds, four assists. Cameron Healy had four points, three assists. Parsifala had seven points. D Barnes had two points, three rebounds. Scobirds title game. And guys, I apologize that I know some of the starting five players on SCU in this game are not the real, like, class year. It's like Harrison Butler says he's a freshman when he's really a Ladies senior. So, this is the title game, Skull of t -Burgers. I made this two minute halves. So it's gonna be a very quick low scoring game. We better win. There's a look at the starting lineup. See, Spurgeon's not a senior. Fawcett's not a freshman. But it's okay. Here's a look at how these teams plan on controlling the tempo. Here we go, Scobirds. Halftime, eight to six in two minute halves. We're winning in the championship at half. Stay tuned for the road to the final four. Look at Drake Allen get up. <laughs> Let's take a look at our game summary to this point so far. You can get a sense of the story of this game by looking at some of these numbers. Still lots of time to play though. Anything can happen. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identified at the outset. Two minutes away from the title, Scobirds. SUU wins the title. <coughs> SUU wins the title. Well, Bill, it's over. And the team we thought was going to win has won it. And it's going to be a sad locker room, of course, for the loser. Well, as a whole, they had a great season. They were able to get this far, which a lot of teams can't say they did. Some may say they underachieved. Some may say they overachieved. 
Regardless, they simply ran into a team that executed extremely well tonight. They've done it! NCAA champions, the culmination of a year of sacrifice and accomplishment. The dedication and effort is rewarded with a national title. Congratulations! Jones and Allen, yeah, Jones and Allen were the only two that scored in this game. <laughs> yeah. Dynamic duo. See, Spurgeon had one block. Fawcett had two rebounds. Jones had 11 and two rebounds. Allen had six and two assists. And that's it. We win the lowest scoring title game ever. Sco Birds, baby. There's campus.